Uh, yeah, my name is Steve Mead, Steve Mead Designs Inc., WCCaraudio.com, and this is my shop. We have lots of cool stuff in here, but the highlight of my shop is my Laguna tools, and that's not no, you know what, for the internet. So, we got Smart Shop Bam over there, making some lids. My first baby right here. We got the M2 over here. We got Brandon making some terminal cups all day long, every single day. We got my full size CO2 laser. We use this thing every single day. We got my little four x four. We use this every single day as well. We got the 1500 watt fiber laser right here. This thing cuts steel, aluminum, copper, all kinds of cool stuff. Quarter inch plates. And we got another CO2 laser over here. This thing also runs every single day, all day long. Non-stop workhorses. All right, so for dust collection, I got the Laguna three horsepower over there. Lots of eight inch tubing, lots of six inch tubing. Matter of fact, I also made parts on the CNC machines to make that tubing work a little bit better. So you make your own parts for your own machines. It's awesome. It doesn't get no better than that. Well, we make products for the car audio industry. We make products for people with very large sound systems to accommodate them because everything that's out there is for people just to hook up their basic sound system. You have your, your run of the mill stuff that's at every stereo shop, but what we make is fuse holders and distribution bars and terminal cups for people with very large systems. You can use it for small systems as well, but we're catering to people that have over the top stuff. You might need eight fuses instead of just one little fuse from your local stereo shop. You know, you might need 16. Uh, if you have a a whole bunch of amplifiers, you need a place to run all your grounds. You need a place to run all the positives. We have distro bars for all that stuff. Uh, that's what we make here. The whole machinery thing started about five years ago. I bought a CNC machine, a different brand, had no tool changer on it. I learned how to use it. And then I realized I could use a tool changer. And uh, my buddy Tim from Audiotistics recommended Laguna. He said, give my guy a call at Laguna. And I did, and ever since, my shop's been filling up with Laguna tools. Before I know it, I've got three CO2 lasers and a fiber laser, and I want more. <laughs> when I first bought my very first one, I wasn't exactly sure what I would do with it, if I would even get a lot of use out of it other than some fun little arts and crafts. But within, within a week, it was in full production, making my other stuff that I was making on the CNC machines even better. With those flame polished edges and the ability to make really fine etchings, it, it took some of what I was already doing to the next level. When the machines arrive, they come in big crates, you pull them out the semi truck, once you get into the building, uh, if you're smart, you had the electrician there a few days prior to get everything set up and have it ready for the Laguna guy. When he gets here, he's going to get it all set up and show you what to do. But everything's been great. All my machines, they've been working good from the beginning. Um, any of the issues that I had usually going to be my fault, but this is how it is. Once you learn how to do it, then all of a sudden it's game on. So we're making a run of terminal cups right now. 99 of them on here at one time. Um, we're running the backside right now, doing the lettering, the positive and negative. And once this is done, it's going to do a nice little cleanup and a big cut. And this whole project's going to get flipped over. We're running the back side. Once we flip this whole project over, we're gonna get the same thing on the other side. And when this thing's flipped, it's gotta be spot on exactly where it came off the table. So probably the smartest thing I ever did in my life was buy a CNC machine, and then buy another, and then buy another, and then buy another. Because I went from just a regular shop, having a little bit of fun, making some stuff, doing some YouTube videos, to now, this is what I do for a living. It's my business, I got employees, and those things are basically like ATM machines. Once you figure out what to make on them and what people need, and you get good at it, 
you will make money. A side effect of what we do is I'm getting business that has nothing to do with car audio coming from every direction. People find out that I can cut steel and aluminum with my fiber laser. All of a sudden they're showing up because not that many people can do that with the precision that these machines can do. Um, same thing with the CO2 lasers, acrylics, signs. I'm not even a sign maker, but I can make some badass signs because I have these machines. I'm learning these machines, I'm getting better and better at them every day, and every time I get good at one, the jobs start rolling in, so then I have to buy another one to keep up with the production. So what's next for my shop is another fiber laser and more power. A higher powered fiber laser and a bigger table, and it's just not gonna stop. I'm gonna have to move cars out of my shop to another shop just to make room for the machinery that's coming in. And uh, I never thought that would ever happen, but that's the direction it's going. I'm running out of room. I can't say enough about these Laguna machines. They've been great to me. They're workhorses. I mean, there's nothing really else to say about it. I got one word of advice for anybody that wants to make money that loves machinery. If you don't love this stuff, don't even do it. But if you love it, grab yourself a Laguna CNC, make sure you get a tool changer, learn how to use it, and you will make money.